Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Hope you all are doing great. I was working on one of the client assignment where requirement was to move their batch jobs from on-premises to AWS cloud. And we were evaluating AWS batch as a solution. While doing that, I realized you cannot run simple script on AWS batch. It has to be containers. So how in the world we are going to do that? So I was equally confused and then I decided to explore it myself. And in this tutorial, I will unpack all the mysteries around AWS Batch. You are going to learn a whole lot if you follow along. So please stay tuned and watch till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so let's look at the agenda for this tutorial today. So we are going to look at the reference architecture of AWS Batch so that we understand what are the components needed for AWS Batch to work. Then we'll head into the demo where we look at the problem statement. What job we want to convert into AWS Batch so we look at the shell script. You can think of this as a job which is executed on the on-premises server. It is executing some script. So we are going to look at into that script and see how we are going to convert that script into Docker image. Run the container on your local server. We are going to use EC2 which is simulating as an application server for us. And then push that image to some container repository. Here we are going to use ECR on AWS then create components which are needed for AWS Bash to work. So this is a value packed tutorial. So please don't miss it. If you want to try along with me, do it or otherwise just watch me doing it and later you can try it on your own. Okay, so without further delay, let's get started. So let's look at reference architecture for batch. So AWS Batch requires all your job script has to be containerized. So you cannot run a simple batch script, for example, shell script on your server without containerizing it. So in on-premises, if you have worked with job scheduling, even for running your batch job or your any script from cron tab, if you are used to do that, that is not the way AWS batch is going to work, right? So it has to be containerized image. And for that to happen, user has to convert his batch script into container image, push it to ECR registry, Content registry and then AWS Batch can use that image and run that other job on AWS Batch environment. So AWS Batch make it easy for you to run batch jobs. So it provides you compute environment. You can specify how much CPU and memory you require for running the batch jobs. And it has all uh, batch scheduling uh, options wherein you can prioritize your batch job. You can manage dependency between multiple jobs. You can even say that you can time out the job. It's not running in specified time say after five minutes your job is still not completed and it was supposed to be done within five minutes then you have an option you can time out so all these features which are needed for scheduling are available in AWS batch and for this tutorial we are going to take one sample batch job and see how we are going to run that in AWS batch so without further delay let's get into demo part okay so first thing first AWS Batch only runs containerized workload. I know it is a deviation from what we used to do in on-premises. This is like, let's make it very clear that you have to do containerized images to run it on AWS Batch. What is the problem statement for our demo today? Shell script is executed on the application server, which connects to the database and creates a report. The requirement is to move the job executing the shell script to AWS Batch. This is a very classic example in on-premise. You have certain report which runs for a certain point of time and we want to see how we are going to run it in AWS Batch. So this is a batch uh, script. So it's a simple script like we are going to run this on EC2 server, connect to one of the database like we have db host db user db name specified is a postgresql database and i am using rds database for this purpose and then like it just connect that and it runs certain query and get the output what we needed so this is what the script is and now or connect to the ec2 server and start working on the next steps okay so let me get into management console and connect to this ec2 server Connect. I'm using instance connect to connect. We are into our server now. Let me see. CD Docker script. So what I have done is I place this script, uh, shell script, already on the server. Okay. So you can see the same script what I was referring to before. 
it's already there on the server next is we are going to run the script and you can see that it all it does it is just selecting from one one of the table which is bash demo and if i execute the script it runs and then fetches some records so it's a single record just for simulation but it does a work for us it creates a report for us the next step as i mentioned for aws batch we need to make this as a container image we cannot run the script as it is so that is a prerequisite for aws batch for that i have put docker file here if you see and i'll share all these artifacts with you so that it becomes easy for you to try it on your own so let me create docker image docker build connect to docker daemon is docker running so let me just start docker okay so docker started and i'm keeping these errors here because i just want to uh, uh, show you that what are the errors i'm getting that helps you during your troubleshooting and when you are working on it so i don't want to remove whatever errors i'm seeing here image is being built let me just copy this uh, this is just we are manually running it and just making sure that image is good for us now we are running this docker container and we are able to see the report so now image is ready for us next step is push image to ecr repository so let me go back and create ecr repository if it is not there ecr i think i might have created yeah it is there right batch demo okay let me remove this for now this is the image already present there so i just want to remove it and push it again but i just want to show you all the steps what i'm doing so you can select this repository go to view push command and copy this so now just copy this go back to our ec2 server your aws cli you are authenticating with container registry like repository name was not right in my commands sorted now so hopefully it should work so let me copy push command and try pushing image again to the ecr repository so like push is successful let's go back to container registry and check images there or not so you can see it here right so image do exist so we can use this image and build aws batch to call the image and run that as a job let's first create compute environment compute environments contain ecs container instances that are used to run containerized batch job a specific compute environment can also be mapped to one or more job queues and we are going to see how to create job queue next there are three options one is fargate amazon ec2 instances amazon eks so we are going to choose fargate which is serverless option so let me give some name batch demo compute keep service role as it is and click next let me give maximum cpu 1 we don't need more than that and then click next then provide network configuration like vpc and subnet i am going to choose default vpc and will create in a single subnet but there is an option you can have multiple subnets as well and then use a security group and make sure this security group have access to rds so when you deal with rds security group you should add inbound for this particular security group on postgres sql port you can click next and review the configuration what we chose and then create compute environment that's it now let's create job queues job queues are mapped to one or more compute environments jobs are actually submitted to job queue where they reside until they can be scheduled you can have multiple job queues in your aws account job queues have a priority that is used by scheduler to determine which jobs in which queue should be evaluated for execution first so let's give some name say batch demo job queue keep everything default priority and everything just associate with compute environment which is batch mode compute as you can say we can tick mark more than one but we just keep batch mode compute and create job queue look at job definitions aws batch job definitions specify how jobs are actually run while each job must reference a job definition but many of the parameters which you specified in job definition can be overridden at runtime and we'll see that when we submit the job okay so give some name say batch demo dash job definition and you can specify time out which is optional parameter but you can specify like for example if job does not finish in say 60 seconds then aws batch will terminate the job rest you can keep it as is 
come down and assign public IP. It is needed because we are pulling images from ECR and not using VPC interface in pen and all that. And then you can choose execution role. So execution role is IAM role that grants Amazon ECS container and Fargate agents permission to make API calls on your behalf. So you can put linked in the description where you can read more about ECS task execution IAM roles. With this, just go ahead and click on next. Here we can put command which is optional. This command which you want to execute as part of your job run. But as we are giving images, so we just want to execute a container image. So we don't want to specify anything. But you need to put that array and I put that array there, right? And it's empty array. Otherwise, it's going to error out at the end. So we want to put container image URI where we are specifying which image to run. And make sure that you understand this. We are putting this in job definition. So pull this URI and specify in the image text box. So this is the image we are asking this job definition to pull. When we submit job against the job definition, it knows what to run. Yeah, so you can put environment configuration. I'll just put min bare minimum. So 0.25 CPUs and 0.5 GB memory. Just click next. Linux configuration, leave it as it is. In logging configuration, choose AWS logs. So it will be populated in CloudWatch logs. So and just click on next. So you can review all the configuration what you choose and create job definition. Next, we should submit a job against this job definition. So click action, submit new job. Give some name, maybe bad job. Job definition is already populated. Job queue, batch demo job queue, which we created for this demo. So we can add dependencies here but we don't need to do that for this tutorial. So just go ahead and click next. As I mentioned before, you can override many of the parameters during runtime. So there is job overrides you can specify. But for now, we don't want to do that. We just want to go ahead and execute this job. So click next. You can review again and create job. So you can see that job is submitted and there are different status you can track from here. So first was submitted, then runnable. So when it is runnable, it is in your job queue. Then now AWS batch picked the job and is starting execution. So in a moment, it should be changed to running and then an actual uh, completion status will come. So it's still starting. So I'll just pause this video and come back. Okay. So it's change to running great so we can see the job succeeded and you go into logging and just make sure that you can see the successful execution for this job it takes a moment to get logs populated so just wait for it and that's it you can see that job executed successfully and you can see the report or the record which we are supposed to pull from the rds database Okay, so mystery solved on how to run job on AWS Batch. We learned something new today. If so, please like this video, share, leave your comments so that I know this content is helping you. Don't forget to subscribe and that's now. Okay, see you again with yet another exciting tutorial about AWS. Keep learning, keep sharing what you learn and thanks for watching.